Marx Max Muscle, you're so wrong with this one. Let me tell you guys, what is this all about? Nick Walker was only 27 when he won the New York Pro one year ago in 2021. And guess what? Phil Heath won the same event when he was the same age. I'm talking about the 2006 New York Pro. People often forget how young Nick Walker still is. Phil Heath won his first Olympia only after 5 years after this and he went on to win 7 of those. So what has the future in store for Nick Walker? Well nobody can know for sure but what I do know is that at 27 Nick is more impressive than the gift was at 27. You wanna know who doesn't agree with this? Marx Max Muscle. He believes Phil was better at 27. Yes, me and him talked on Instagram about this one and while we agreed it's close, in the end when we picked our winners, he went with Phil and I went with Nick. So at the time this video was released, Marx Max Muscle released his own version of this comparison which is Nick Walker New York Pro 2021 versus Phil Heath New York Pro 2006. So after this video is over, we can all head up to his channel and check his version. His viewers should be doing the same thing to come here after they finished watching there. So let's go. Front double biceps. While both of them look great, you can tell only by looking at this piece that the guy on the left is a rookie while the guy on the right looks like a matured bodybuilder. And they were the same age here, remember? See the difference guys. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder of course and this one could go either way, especially because it is close indeed. But since both of them have tremendous arm development, great tapers, great lower bodies, different in their own way but both of them great at any of the important aspects in this pose. I have to lean more towards the more muscular guy, the more mature looking guy. We're judging open bodybuilding after all. So I give the advantage to Nick Walker in this first pose. Front lat spread. We know this is Nick's weakest pose, but we also know it is Phil's weakest pose as well. Nobody dominates the lats here, but Nick dominates with overall width. The other important aspect in this pose. Fear doesn't convince with a much superior V taper, neither. So even though they both look pretty weak, Nick has a slight advantage in my eyes here. The lower body doesn't make a big difference in the front poses. Phil is arguably superior, but don't forget he's got the camera advantage. Nick presents the better cuts through the quads, so it's pretty close. The side chest pose has to go to Phil Heath though. Both have weak chests here, but Phil's got the shoulders and the arms. He's also got the side leg, so easy win for Phil Heath in this one. Back double biceps, and this is kinda tricky. I have a feeling Marx Max Muscle would go with Phil Heath here, and I can understand that. Phil has the better muscle separation through the back, especially in the lower region, but I can't help but notice how small Phil looks here compared to Nick. Yes, from a genetics point of view, Phil's back will always be better. You can tell by looking at this, but Nick Walker wins this one for me again, the argument being that Phil's back is still too small to go against a guy like Nick Walker in this comparison. Nick also gets the arms and the shoulders from the back. Of course, regardless of how big Nick Walker will get, he will never beat a prime field hit in this pose, but as they look right here, Nick Walker wins it for me. The back lat spread looks to be a different story though. Nick still has the size and the width, but in this case, I believe the difference between them in regards of muscle separation and details gives Phil the overall advantage. Small details make the difference in such comparisons, this is not exact science. And it is just my opinion, let's make sure we all go to Marx Max Muscle after this and check his. Side triceps and from the side, Phil Heath is untouchable even at this young age. 
Overall width is not a factor from the side and with his round full muscles he can go toe to toe with almost any matured bodybuilder from the side. Nick is not matured but he definitely looks like he is, though he loses this pose to Phil. Phil beats Nick at every aspect in this pose, triceps, chest, midsection, lower body, easy win for Phil again. Abs and ties and I apologize for Phil's bad quality pick. Anyway, Nick Walker will not lose this pose. Phil looks good, he's got a tight waist, good abs and great lower body, but he's just too thin. In spite of Nick's blocky structure, he somehow pulls out a great abs and thighs pose, it just looks right. Most muscular has to go to Phil Heath, in spite of his narrow structure, those crazy arms and shoulders are really something else and Nick doesn't have the chest to capitalize on Phil's weak chest. Each of them won 4 poses, told you in the beginning it is close and it could go either way, but the reason I'm going with Nick Walker is simple. He really makes Phil Heath look too small in certain poses. It's almost like Phil looks from other divisions standing next to Nick Walker. Take the front poses, the back double biceps, the abs and thighs. And for those of you who don't know, Phil Heath is my all time favorite bodybuilder. He's the athlete I like the most in the sport, so you can't say I'm a Phil Heath hater or Nick Walker fanboy. I'm a fan of both, Phil is number one for me, but as they look here, both at 27 years old, I believe Nick Walker is the better bodybuilder. Let's head on to Mark's Max Muscles channel now and check out his views on this comparison, but not before leaving a like regardless if you agree or not with my conclusion. It helps the channel a lot. Also subscribe if you haven't done it yet. See you next time guys.